This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette on this Friday. Today is Earth Day, and this weekend there's a few opportunities to celebrate. On Sunday from 8 a.m. to noon, the Chemung River Friends and Kiwanis Club will be cleaning up the Kinsella Park boat launch near the Canastillo River in the town of Irwin. You can help them pick up trash and debris, install birdhouses, mark the trail, and more. And Elmira Mayor Dan Mandel is asking residents to help clean up the Lackawanna Rail Trail and other public parks this weekend. Also, the Chemung River Friends are partnering with the Ultimate Fit Chick in Elmira to create a Hike It Healthy Fitness program. The goal is to get you moving while enjoying the fresh air and scenic local landscapes. The first hike of many throughout the summer is tomorrow morning along the West Elmira Trail from 10 a.m. to noon. We'll put more details on our website. As many as a dozen possible heroin overdoses in the past two weeks in the city of Ithaca have police asking for the community's help. Investigators are now working to determine if they're linked to each other. If they are, Ithaca police fear the source of the heroin may be laced with a foreign substance like fentanyl. Fentanyl is a narcotic used to treat severe pain with a high risk for addiction or dependence. IPD officer Jamie Williamson says the department is concerned for the public safety because of the frequent number of overdoses. He says people can report an overdose without fearing they'll be arrested. If you see somebody having an overdose on heroin or if you believe somebody is addicted to heroin, we encourage you to reach out to anybody that you can. You can dial 911 and remain anonymous if you want. You can speak to officers when they arrive. And says the department has sent for lab testing to determine if the heroin overdoses can be linked. You'll find a number of IPD community resources posted on our website at WENY.com. Now let's send it over to Craig Flint for a look at today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Hey there, Leanne. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Scattered showers likely moving through today with even the opportunity for an isolated thunderstorm. And obviously in honor of Prince, we will just call it purple rain today with highs again near 70. It's heading to the overnight hours. Cloudy skies, some drizzle, a little bit of fog left over and a low of 42. So over the northern tier today, we've got uh, scattered showers that will come through and then we'll try to give you some intervals of sun in between scattered showers. But highs again should make the upper 50s, uh, I should say upper 60s and lower 70s. 70 or so for Elmira, lower 70s in Corning with scattered showers, an opportunity for a thunderstorm and over the southern Finger Lakes as well. Temperatures here topping out in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So we have a cold front that is currently situated to the west. This front here will work its way to the east and that will likely cross through here uh, later this uh, afternoon and into this evening. So while it's a southwesterly wind out ahead of the front, winds will shift into the northwest overnight tonight and that will usher in some cooler air. But let's widen the shot and we'll show you a big area of high pressure that will be moving in on the heels of this cold front. So once that builds in, I think how it works is Saturday morning will likely start out with cloud cover and then we'll go over to more sunshine by the finish of Saturday and a cool northerly wind and a high of 57. Increasing clouds Sunday, 64. Monday, Tuesday, kind of up in the air right now, depending on where a front lays itself and how this works and where the rain will be and when it develops. For now, it's just kind of a broad brush and yeah, I don't like doing that, but at least there's an opportunity for some rain Monday and again Tuesday. Mid 60s Monday, turning cooler Tuesday, mid 50s. Sun's back Wednesday, 60 and then into the mid 60s by Thursday. Have a good weekend, Leanne. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5.30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day and a great weekend, everyone.